Hello everyone, Mauro here. In this lesson, we're going to look at the steps to disable the Copilot AI feature on Microsoft Word, Excel, OneNote, and PowerPoint. Okay, let's dive into the steps. But before we start, make sure to subscribe and hit the like button. It is free and really helps support the channel and my work. Also, check out my website for more tutorials and tech news. Now, if you don't want to use the AI feature on your Microsoft 365 apps, do this. Open Word and create a new document. Then click on File and then go to Options. From here, go to Copilot, clear this option, click OK and restart the app. Now, the next time that you open the same application, you're going to see that Copilot is no longer available. However, the option will be grayed out on the Home tab and that is something that you cannot remove from the application. One thing that I wanted to point out, let me close this and I'm going to open Word one more time. Now, even though you can open options from right here without having to actually start a new document, I have found that sometimes if you try to do this on different applications, the Copilot tab will not show up and it will only show up after you created a document, a spreadsheet or a PowerPoint file. So it is best to do it that way. Now to disable Copilot in Excel, just open the app. And I'm going to open a blank spreadsheet and then I'm going to go to file and then open options. From here, go to Copilot, clear the enable Copilot option, click OK and restart the app. Now, as you can see, you have to turn off Copilot on each application where you don't want to use a specific feature. OK, now let's open OneNote. And from here, let's go to file options. Then let's go to Copilot, clear the enable Copilot option. And this will disable the feature on the application. Click OK and restart the app. Now let's open PowerPoint. Open a blank presentation and then go to File, Options, then go to Copilot and clear the Enable Copilot option to disable the feature. Click OK and restart the app. Now, at any time you can re-enable Copilot, but you have to open the Copilot settings from the Options page and from there just check the option and then restart the application. Now, the only app that we are not able to enable or disable Copilot at this time is in the desktop version of Outlook and for the new version of Outlook for Windows 11 and even for Outlook on the web. However, the company is actually planning to release an option, but it will come out at a later time. And that's it. Now, let me know in the comments if you're planning to leave Copilot on or off on your Microsoft 365 apps. Also, remember to like the video, share it, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.